so here I am with old B in one of this bench with an umbrella around here in the courtyard so are you gonna build me this kind of um, structure even smaller than this as uh, an edifice for your undying love and devotion to me well in one word no <laughs> <laughs> This video is about the Temple of Leia with Old B. I'm here right now in the Temple of Leia and this time I am with my husband the old bee. So like I have announced a few days ago that my uh, another content that I'm going to introduce is um, a day out with my husband. So for his foreign followers you will be also hearing some footage of old B around here in the temple of Leia and he once said that he only goes to the touristy place like this one it's geared up for tourists so I cannot take him to those you know urban settling areas all those exotic areas because it has to be where it's geared up for tourists and also the food review that we're gonna have on the day that old B is with me will be more of the American or European his own food so the exotic foods that I usually feature is not gonna be present here if I'm with my husband so we're gonna be seeing what's the update on this temple of Leia as of the moment when I come in the update is the entrance fee is now 100 pesos instead of the 50 pesos that it used to be and you can park up here now for 30 pesos again excuse me for my sometimes I got funny speech because I got braces on that I'm still trying to adjust how to speak with these braces on She told me to go and take some footage, so I thought, well, just we'll take some footage of the main bit, that's good enough. And, um, so, this is the main, like, entrance way into this Temple of Leia. And I can't understand why it's all open to the elements. There's no glass in the windows, and, uh, this is all open to the elements, so it's full of birds all the time. I can't work that out, um, but uh, oh, it's nice enough. Give somebody, somebody something to do. There are a couple here cleaning, but uh, yeah, looks all right. So I'll be throwing in a few pictures later because you wanted me to take some nice close-up pictures of different things. So, but I'm still new to this, so I won't be saying too much. No scripts, no retakes, and uh, no, um, oh, I forgot the other one. <laughs> so I will go in and see what's the update around here. As you can see, the novelty seems to be wearing off among the locals because there's not a lot of people here. When it used to be, you can 
come here at any time and it's full up with people so let's see what's the update regarding here and is it that why they have doubled up the entrance uh, can we get in the rooms now or just the same thing with additional decorations so obviously they have finished painting the ceiling it's now painted in gold and silver there are some gold statues around and there's the painting of the couple Leia and her husband So this is where the main picture taking area is. I'll just go around and look at the rooms. If you're allowed to look at the rooms. Oh, look. They don't even clean up. So you're not allowed to look at the rooms. But you can have a peek. So they have arranged the basis of Leia and, and her collection in this room. It used to be just left there to stock up files after files, but now it's been laid out as you can see. Now this is the other room. I'm starting here on the left side as you go up. So all her doll, porcelain doll collection. Now encased properly in those granite marbles. That's the same worktop I have in all around my kitchen. So obviously there's a bird there that's living inside. There's got bird feathers there on the floor. So you're still not allowed to go in here even on a guided tour. You just look at the items on the window. So this is the third room. Again, a lot of her porcelain dolls are there or porcelain figurines
so the birds are nesting up there on top of that doorway So this is the hallway. With all her collection. I heard that some of these items are actually been bought recently just to add up here by the children. If it's on the same era as most of the collection here. So it makes sense. So otherwise, these rooms will be barren. I mean, like sparse. That's what I mean. It must be sparse if it's just her own personal collection. So in here, obviously it's not finished yet because someone is vandalizing the wall. They still have to get more granite. the boundary and they still been working on it even the ceilings here are not done yet but the columns are all erected now around this area and in case in marble So before we can still see the mountain side on this one the last time I was here but they are now working on this that around here on the back So they have stopped for now in closing the boundaries. So it's still an ongoing construction around here. I wonder where is old B? This is the second room. So they have documented at each one because got a number. That's very good. It's like a museum now. So walking up here, you can see the stairs that being made but not been clad up with a marble concept around here. So you can see it's not, we're not even allowed to go up there. So walking through this hole.
it's now been barred by this sitting area and this is the room for her boxes collection and the pictures of the family is here So this is the library. All her book collection. And now they put up uh, shelves on it. And some cities are here I think you can tell that the city is old and an ivory horn there and further book collection This is the room for her Chinese porcelain collections. And the little trinkets that she has. It's now encased with all this unique display cabinets. So they're also fixing the old cabinets that she has. You can see that that one's rotten on the bottom for all her little trinkets that she used to collect. So there's still more and more of those little collections that she has there on the floor. It's not been displayed yet. Perhaps they will end up having a guided tour inside in the future when everything's displayed. So on the side here, you can see statutes or figurines of the replicas of the Roman statues and figurines. And they still have to extend this property over here. Because you can see they have provisions for building work there. So they will be extending this in the future. They still have to flatten out most of the hills there. But this is the neighbor that's beside the Temple of Leia. Are the residential houses and shanties of people. But they have amazing views 
like I had in my house in my castle I also got this view but this is more on the uh, south side of the city it shows more on this side whereas my view is just half of this east side but it's still beautiful there I could never get enough of it every morning I wake up this is the view that I see so that's the new restaurant there down on the hill but here the owner's luxury car is there is that a Ferrari or Porsche so finally someone is sweeping up the leaves and rubbish there So this is a room collection. So I got another ivory there. So this is like a display cabinet of all the drinks that she used to have because like I think most of them are empty and they've just been refilled but this is the bottles that the bottles that she used to have a drink from. So this is the main hallway of the temple of Leia then you can see that the stairs are now fully encased with the marbles although they still have a few ceiling things to put on but that's Leia there So for those that's not familiar with this one, we'll go closer so you can see the writings. Beloved wife and mother, Leia B. Albino Adarna, was chosen matron queen of her alma mater, University of Southern Philippines, this nine-foot bronze statue portrays her composure and regal bearing when she was crowned. Maybe the beholder discern her innate beauty, poise, and gentleness. That's from her husband, Chudirico Soriano Adarna, born December 1938. And here... I built this temple in 2012. This is his story. As a symbol of undying love, for and ceaseless devotion to Leah Albino Adarna, my wife for 53 years. In honor of her lifetime passion, Leah's collection of antiques, books, special objects, and memorabilia amassed from our foreign trips are enshrined and will preserve inside the 24 chambers of this temple to erect this grand edifice again to erect this grand edifice i cut the top of a mountain where it now gracefully rises the classic and striking architectural design of this temple took its inspiration from a world heritage site the parthenon of greece an important monument dedicated to the patron goddess Athena 
and admired for more than 2,500 years. Using advanced te construction technology, this temple is built to withstand the test of time and is hoped to retain its grandeur and beauty in the next 3,000 years. From the husband, Chudorico S. Adarna Jr. Oh no, this is from the son. Because, oh, because the other one has got no junior, but I think it's from the husband. So that's the couple. Ellen and Chiderico Adarna. The Adarnas are one of the most prominent one of the most prominent families here in Cebu City. Especially the Cebu area. You know, like the Luliers, Aboites, they're one of those prominent families like that with the wealth and money fame wealth you know oh where's old B I see him in one of those kiosks now on this side Used to have all the writings of who helped him. Temple of Leia. Uh, this is my temple. My, may this temple serve as a symbol of great love of a husband to her, to his loving wife. That's the original. Engineer Chidurico Adarna Jr. And Leia Villa Albino. 50 years golden anniver wedding anniversary aboard Princess Cruise in Paris, France, 2009, March 14, 2009. So, this is another writing that's from the husband. I constructed this temple in this year, in the year 2012 AD. As a symbol of my undying love for and ceaseless devotion to Leah Bilia Albino Adarna, my wife of 53 years, I adopted the ar an architectural and structural design that can withstand time and still be appreciated for a millennium so this temple will be a landmark of Cebu in the future generations of the Adarna clan coming from her can come and trace their roots and heritage. All her lifetime collections are, show, are showed in 24 chambers of this temple, principally for the members of our family who cherish her memory. That's Chudorico signature. So there. So when you visit Cebu City, this is one of the recommended um, picture area for you to visit aside from other like Sirao Gardens this is on the way to Sirao Gardens so you might as well stop by here in Temple of Leia the new rates they're charging right now is now 100 pesos per adult and 30 pesos for parking fee and children is around 50 pesos, I think. 
half the adult price. So on the bottom, on the uh, right side, if you're facing the temple, you can see here the collection of furnitures by Leia. So they co decorated it now with this fiberglass gold statues, but they are still working on this. They will soon have some carb ceiling effect and these are her Chinese seats and dining tables. I like it, all the ceiling thing. I think this need the furniture needs restoration as well. But you still can see it there. The shell inlaid ones. So this is the courtyard that you can see they have provided sitting areas now and benches that people can sit down and get mesmerized by the view. Look at these um, benches that they have created for here. The intricate designs.
So you can see there they got a big signs on the way in that the entrance for adult now is 100 children is 50 senior citizens is 50 Well Alan Johnson I'm here in SNR she managed to drag me out looking forward to go home but uh, yeah it's dead me look at this This is normally packed. So here we are, we are having our lunch. I'm with Old B and what you expect, uh, we are in SNR to eat our lunch. So he's having his french fries now. And I have to stop him because I have to film. <laughs> okay, I'm done. So this is what we're having in SNR. You got two hot dogs for old B, fries, and I'm having roast chicken and a chowder. So, sorry, ladies and gentlemen, there's nothing much of a Filipino food. This is more of your food that you can find there in your country. Someone asked if you can get Jello in the Philippines. Yeah, you you can get pretty much anything you want over here. This is the th um, third time I've been in her car. <laughs> um, she said, where do you want to go now? I said, oh, I had enough today. Too hot. And uh, I hate wearing a face mask and face shields. Uh, so that's enough for today.